Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today, what is today? Today is May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> um, it's nighttime, so the lighting's bad. And uh, my tripod is somewhere that's not here. <laughs> so I'm not using my light. But anyways, I want to hop on here and record a video real quick for tomorrow because we're going to be gone all day tomorrow. And that way I can record it and edit it and upload it tonight and then it'll come out in the morning is my plan. But this is going to be a stitcher stash and instead of being one episode, <laughs> it's going to be like a series. <laughs> because this particular stash item that I'm wanting to get out of my stash, trying to make room for other things, uh, is five cakes. And I, don't, I didn't bring any of them in here with me. <laughs> Um, just the one I'm using, but it is five cakes of mandala ombre, three of the purple color, and two of the blue color. I don't know their names. <laughs> there, let me bring them in here. I think I have the purple ball band in here somewhere on my desk, but I don't know where it's at. Anyways, <laughs> it's the purple and it's the blue. I don't know what their names are, but um, I've had them in my stash for a little while, and I've been wanting to use them up, so I thought I would make an afghan, like a throw. And I'm pretty sure Jesse's going to claim it when it's done because he loves purple and he likes blue as well. And it's going to be a good like kid size, I think. So uh, I will link the pattern below that I'm following. It's just a ripple pattern, but I did, went, I went and watched, uh, what was it? It was PDF, I think, on Ravelry. I went and read it <laughs> to get like um, reminded how to do it. I hadn't worked on a ripple blanket in a while, so I had to go refresh it. But to make it, I'm using the Mandela Ombre, which is a worsted weight, um, yarn so it's number four and I'm using an H hook which is a five millimeter and I'm just going to since I have five cakes I have three purple and two blues I'm going to do a whole cake of purple blue purple blue purple <laughs> is my plan so um I can't remember the starting chain I think it was 151 and I think it's gonna be a decent size but I've already got most of the first cake in there this is what's left <laughs> it's just a big floppy piece and judging by the length of the rows I've got maybe about four more rows back and forth to do. So here is my progress so far. Okay, the lighting's really bad <laughs> because it's nighttime. But here it is so far. It's decently wide. Like it's going to be a decent size blanket for Jesse. He's seven. It'd be good like to sit on the couch blanket. So it's decently wide. I haven't measured it. Well, my I got my thing right here. Let's see if I can. It looks like it's about three feet wide. I move my clothes basket. Yeah, it's like just right at 36 inches wide. <laughs> and I don't know how many millimeters that is, but um, it's like right at three feet wide. It's not going to have a border because ripple blankets usually don't, and I'm fine with that. But I love the way it's coming out so far. The colors is looking nice, and it's pretty easy. It's a roll of, it does a roll of double crochet and a roll of single crochet. And you just keep repeating it over and over until it's the length that you want it. So I'm just going to use up all those cakes, get them out of my stash, and I'll clear up five skeins out of my stash. And let's see here, each one is 344 yards. So it's 344 times five is how much yards will be taken out of my stash. And I'll have five ball bands to add to my ball band collection. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a progress keeper on here. So that I can just keep on updating you guys on this stitch your stash because... If I waited until I was done with it, it would it might be forever <laughs> until I show it on a video. So, um, but I have been working on it a lot. Uh, when we sit out on the porch, I like the kids play outside. I um, I work on this. So I wanted to hop on here and show it to you guys. So it's just a basic pattern, and it's purple, which is nice. I like the the um, the ombre, <laughs> you know, it's mandel ombre, and the blue is just as pretty. Uh, I really like uh, mandel ombre yarn, like the way it feels and everything is really nice. I like it. So I might end up getting more in my stash after I use up these, but I'm just trying to use up my cakes. I have a lot of cakes that have been sitting around forever, so I'm trying to use it. This is our patio furniture cushions. <laughs> I had to bring them in because it's raining, and I didn't want them to get wet. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this up, and it'll be up tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Saturday the 6th. So Jesse's going to my sister's tomorrow to hang out all day with his cousin, and me and Devin's going to run around and do stuff for my birthday <laughs> with the baby. Because she, she doesn't like going to anyone's house um, and being babysat. She always wants me. So she's got to go with us. But it's going to be a fun day. And I wanted to put a video up anyways. But I knew we'd be busy. So I'm doing it tonight. So the lighting's horrible. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just pretty yarn. And I wanted to hop on here and share with you guys. So I'm probably going to go work on this after I get this video up. And uh, finish cleaning up the house and get things ready for tomorrow. i got to pack a bag for Jesse and for June. And maybe myself. <laughs> and so that we have emergency stuff when we're out. And uh, 
I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.